Parker. Joining us to discuss Wisconsin Republican Congressman Reed Ribble. He has endorsed Senator Ted Cruz in that state. Congressman, good morning. Thanks for being with us. You know Wisconsin. Let's start out with a prediction. Give me a prediction about what will happen tonight. I, I think you're going to see Wisconsin, uh, and you're going to see the polarity of Wisconsin. You're going to see Ted Cruz win on the Republican side, and you're going to see Bernie Sanders win on the Democrat side. You're going to go about as far to the left and as conservative to the right as you can go. Uh, it, it reflects Wisconsin's uh, polarity in politics right now. Clean sweep for Ted Cruz. Does he get every last delegate there? Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily predict that, but it wouldn't surprise me if he gets them all. Um, it'll be interesting to see how he does in inner city Milwaukee and in Dane County uh, near Madison. You, Congressman, you are a longtime Never Trump guy. You, you, you started that movement way yeah. before others did. You long said you're not going to vote for Donald Trump. You were a recent addition to the Ted Cruz team, uh, you know, recently endorsing him. You have also questioned his electability in the past. Do you still have concerns that Ted Cruz might have electability issues? Well, you know, the one thing I've seen about Ted Cruz is that he's actually improving uh, in, in the national polls, and his numbers against Hillary Clinton are looking better and better every single week. And so uh, some of those concerns have uh, moved away from me. Uh, I believe that if Ted Cruz is the Republican nominee in the fall, uh, he is likely the next president of the United States. Ted Cruz says that when it gets to a convention, even if he doesn't have the majority of delegates on the first ballot, the only two options that Republicans will have at that convention, he says, are Donald Trump and Ted Cruz. And if anyone else, either John Kasich, Paul Ryan, uh, your fellow congressman from Wisconsin, anyone else tries to come in late you know, and take it on the floor, that that would be dishonest and not should be allowed. And he said there would be a revolt. Let's listen. Well, I, I, you know, I this, think this fevered pipe dream of Washington that at the convention they will parachute in some white knight who will save the Washington establishment. It is nothing less than a pipe dream. It ain't going to happen. If it did, the people would quite rightly revolt. First of all, do you agree with him that it should be Trump, Cruz, or no one else? Well, I, I th certainly think that that's where the, the delegate count is leading us to. I don't think it's going to be somebody from the outside. And Paul Ryan's been pretty clear himself saying that, listen, uh, our, our Republican nominee ought to be somebody actually running for president. And so it is likely to be, and I would agree with Senator Cruz, it's likely to be one of the leading contenders uh, at the convention is likely to be the winner. Likely is different than it must be, which is what Ted Cruz is saying. And he's saying if it's not, there will be a revolt. And, and those are strong words. I don't know what he means by revolt. Does he mean a political revolt where people, you know, write strongly worded letters? Or does he mean a literal revolt? You know, Donald Trump got in trouble when he suggested there be riots in Cleveland. Well, you know, I, I think you'd have to ask Senator Cruz about that. But I, I do think that if you look at U.S. history, uh, and I, I would take a little different tack than Senator Cruz did, the, the uh, convention delegates ultimately will be responsible for, for choosing if, in fact, it becomes contested. It then becomes the responsibility of Senator Cruz and Donald Trump and John Kasich and those that have delegates to convince those delegates at the convention that they should receive the majority of the votes. It's up to them to do the convincing and the persuading and the cajoling. And uh, the one thing about Senator Cruz is he's very, very good at the ground game and at grassroots. And it would not surprise me if he comes out of the convention with the nomination because very, of Very, very strong organization. But to be clear, you do suggest he maybe went too far saying there'd be a revolt if it went to someone besides Ted Cruz or Donald Trump. Well, hi history would say that that's not the case. But uh, I think you should uh, ask Senator Cruz about it directly. And we will as soon as we can. I do have to ask you something that happened in your state, Wisconsin, known for its cheese. Ted Cruz toured a cheese house, you know, one of the most famous houses of cheese in your state. But he refused to put on a cheese head. We have a picture of this right now. Was that a mistake, <laughs> sir? Should he had not uh, no, donned I... the cheese hat that his daughter did? Uh, you know, I, his daughter's pretty smart. I, I, I will tell you this, uh, up, up in Wisconsin, uh, Green Bay Packers are, are uh, the, the heart of Green Bay and the heart of Wisconsin, and uh, certainly they're, they're willing to take on anything in Texas. Uh, so he probably should have put it on, but uh, I see it all as good fun. He says no hats in politics, but you, Congressman, say it was a mistake. <laughs> Congressman Reed Ribble, great to have you with us. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Hey, good to be with you, John.